within Teams, as you can see, uh, if you're using Teams today, you already have a calls button. But once you activate the phone license, phone system license in Teams, you get a dial pad. So as you can see, this is my direct line, the 630-364-4945. Now, um, you know, of course, you have your activity, chat, et cetera, some of the other things in here. But this here is um, my dial pad. So if I make a call out, I can easily just click on the number. I can use the keys on my keyboard. Uh, there are, of course, options of phones as well, physical devices. So if someone would rather have a, a physical phone, there are some options, whether it's Poly or Yaylink there. Now Teams was really built to be more of a soft client than, it, than a true physical phone. Um, but again, it does work and it works very well. Um, as you can see here on my screen, I've built out a bunch of speed dials. Now we're about a hundred and uh, 180 employees or so here at Call Tower. I don't list all 179 of my coworkers here. Who I do list are the folks I speak to on a regular basis. Now, of course, as a user or as a uh, receptionist, you can build this out however you like. So as you can see, I kind of did, uh, here's delegates, which I'm going to touch on here momentarily. Um, speed dials. Um, are listed here. Again, you could call these groups whatever you want. You can call it a new group, uh, create whatever. You could do it by call some of your favorites, call them by departments, channel directors, solution architects, uh, account management, you know, et cetera. Okay. So if you have multiple locations or just different departments, again, break it up however you like. So let's say a call comes in here at Call Tower um, and I answer it. And someone in Mel, Let's say Mel from Greg Communications is calling and he's looking for Cade. Well, I, you know, I could, I could do a couple things. One, I could easily just type in up here and type in Cade. Or, you know, if I have him as a speed dial, I can actually come down to the marketing department and see that Cade's, you know, availability. Now, of course, Cade's on a do not disturb. So I could say, well, oh, Mel, sorry, uh, uh, Cade's on a do not disturb, you know, it's probably in a meeting, et cetera. I could do a couple things. One, I could easily uh, park the call. I could now um, chat Cade and say, hey, Cade, um, I've, got, uh, I've got Mel on, on parked on 10. He could say, well, I'm busy right now. I can't accept the call. Or he could say, yeah, no problem. I'm just wrapping up a, a couple of tasks I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get them. It's easy to come in here, hit your park call type in 10, and then he can move the call right to his phone, okay? So that's one way of handling a call. Another way to handle a call is a call comes in, and depending on what's happening in Teams, so Microsoft Teams uh, knows um, I'm presenting, I'm in this meeting, so because of that, do not disturb, it, the features change. So again, somebody calls in here, is looking for Cade, or for Jessica, for example, I could easily do a transfer, transfer with chat, or transfer to voicemail. It's gonna give me those three options based on what's going on, okay? So I could easily, again, um, transfer, transfer to voicemail, or transfer to chat. Transfer to chat's gonna say such and such is on the phone, um, and then that way when it rings through on Jessica, she can actually see who it is, uh, not only the caller ID, but also that I forwarded the call because based on the chat that went out. So very easy to do that. Uh, the other third option would be just to simply put the caller on hold and then come in here and chat Jessica and say, I've got such and such on, on hold. Uh, I know you're busy, but what do you want me to do? Right? She could say, oh, I can go ahead and park the call. I'll be with them in a minute. She may say, go ahead and put them through, whatever it may be. Okay. Now within Teams, I can put four people on hold or I can park 90 people. Okay, so every company is going to be different on how to manage it. And as you can see, whether I'm a user or a receptionist, everything's the same. Now, I know I showed you on our, uh, our map, our uh, future map here on, on what's going on. Uh, the next thing is going to be to come up with a true receptionist console. It's currently being worked on. Um, it's just being approved from Microsoft. So we're going to have a true receptionist console. So if somebody wanted to maybe take that caller and just drop it into a specific person, you will be able to do that. Okay. Now teams here, as you can see, I've got the speed dial set up. I've got, by the way, there's different views here that you could do. I have it in a business card view. So I see everybody's smiling face. Um, if I want to change that view, so it basically eliminates photos. Um, it eliminates photos. It kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet here. So it would have the person's name. It would show, it have a, a little circle here. For example, uh, Suzanne, it would be, 
red. It would show that she's busy, but I could still video her, call her, and then all these other options, chat, et cetera. Okay. So if you don't, you know, if you kind of would like to have more people on this actual screen, but kind of shrink it up a little bit, uh, you could do that by changing the view and, and basically eliminating photos. Okay. Um, easy to add speed dials. And by the way, you can add speed dials outside of your organization. They don't need to be in. So if you have people that you talk to and do business with outside of the organization quite a bit, you can easily add them in as well. Uh, as I mentioned, you could easily do a search for somebody. So if uh, you were looking for somebody that you don't have on your speed dial, not a problem. You can just type in a name. It'll come up and then you can connect with them that way. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, some of the things that Teams natively does not have that we could fill feature gaps in is things like paging. We offer the overhead paging um, as well. So we just build a speed dial. If you have a door phone or a door buzzer or a gate opener or something like that, uh, that's where we would, the speed dials we built. You could actually build a, you know, a specific category for those or anything like that. Now, just so you know, when I hit page, it's instant. So it will go to the overhead paging device. Um, which is connected to your amplifier. So for those of you that uh, are using overhead paging, that's how you would do it. Just to be clear, it is overhead paging only. You cannot page through the speakers of physical phones or computers today with Microsoft Teams, okay? Um, I don't know if Microsoft will ever uh, do that or not because you know so many people use the, the desktop app and the mobile app that uh, how do you determine to get a, a broadcast call or a, um, or a page call through a, you know something like that versus a physical phone? 